so good. Hi guys, welcome back to a Beyond Pad Thai channel. In this vlog or cooking video or whatever you're gonna call it, we're gonna be making this empanada. Because I'm stuck here in Chile and empanada is a thing here. It's like um, one of the most popular food in Chile. We're gonna be making this from scratch. First of all, we have to wash our hands more than 20 seconds. Alright, now after that, my boyfriend right here. Mi novio. Ooh. <laughs> Then we're gonna need this white flour, one kilogram. Dump it in. <laughs> okay. Bing. Bing. 25 grams of salt. Yeah, the baking flour right in there. One teaspoon. We mix the dry ingredient first. Then we're gonna need three eggs. Dem, dem, dem. One. Two. Three. Dump in some. We could actually use butter. We just need some animal fat into that bowl. We add some water in just a little bit until you feel that it's like the right texture. Go, we no go, we no go. Just have to like massage, massage, massage. Need, K N E E. Need. So we have to knead the dough. Massage it. <laughs> it's starting to get like that already. He's a pro. Now you can feel it's different now. It's soft like a baby but After prepare the dough, we just leave it like that for just one hour at least. One hour or one hour and a half. We just move on to cut some onion, potatoes, some other meat. <laughs> And also boil the egg. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> boil some potato and carrots. Cut some peppers and mushrooms. Olives will be needed as well as we making pino the Chilean empanada filling. Pour some chopped onion and garlic into the pan. For the seasoning, we use paprika, salt, pepper and some oregano After the meat get cooked, it smells really really good now Normally we have to put like everything all together like mix the meat and the onion, carrots and now the vegetable but since some of the people here are vegetarian we separate it The meat looks so good To make the shape and fill in the empanada is actually the most fun part that I actually like to do a lot. Good thing about doing the meat and the vegetables separately so that you can put in the ratio that you like if you like more meat or if you like more vegetable. My first one looked like this. Make it for my boyfriend here. My novio. <laughs> we already have like some flour so that it don't stick. That is Chilean shape, like Chilean style. This one, actually, I make it pretty much like Thai shape because in Thailand, we also have like curry puffs. It look like this. That look like, oh, what the? Indian ball. <laughs> I usually just do like the normal shape or sometimes I make some heart, which I'm actually gonna show you guys right now how I exactly did it. I use two portion of the dough. Then I make the heart shape. I put some filling in. And then put another heart shape on top of it. I actually really like the way how it looks like that. Don't forget to put some flour in so it's not stuck 
on the table or on your hand. Put it on tray, ready to go into the oven. Don't forget to cover all the empanada with egg yolks so that after you have it out of the oven, it's gonna come out really shiny and pretty. Now I'm gonna be trying this already. Oh, I can open it. No, it's hot. This one I'm having right here is chicken. We made some like um, beef, chicken, and vegetarian. Ah. Hot. There's still some steam. It's just right off the oven just a minute ago. So good, much better than the one we buy like on the street and all that. Thank you guys so 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 much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. My friend here, just show me something. Can I see your thing again please? Empanada tattoo! Two of them. That's funny.